Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to the code gravity design training. I believe we're doing great today. So right now I want to uh I want us to create a monogram logo on our Android smartphone. So I'm going to teach you step by steps how you can come up with that. So we I have a name before me, so I want to use that to create a kind of a monogram logo called uh Runek. So I'm going to use a perfect uh perfect uh mock up for it so i'm going to show you that step by step so before we start there's one thing that we really need there so let's go to our pain interest first so i need the great texture okay so i need a great texture so i will go to search and put the gray texture or oh, let's say silver sorry or oh, i put a silver silver texture so you can see them in a different one so i don't want the one that is having any line this will be the best so after gotten that i'll go to my uh, pc lab then type the name runek so later how will be the first one and then i'll go to the font i don't have any font in mind already yet but uh let's see whether i can use this can this work? I'm thinking, but uh, pumping, pumping. The perfect one will be the leaks pattern. So let's go with the leaks pattern. So I'll have this. You see, it's very thick, right? So use your relative position, position to the center, move it to this part. Now, what we're going to do next is um, let's do something creative. So we are going to select this particular shape okay select a shape like this then let it remove the opacity to zero then give it a stroke so let it bold to be in line with this or better still if you are still doubting on that or you are not really sure of which one to use you can try this sorry you can copy the letter R then go to text and select this you can see that this is perfect but we need to treat this how can we treat them so there's something i need to do right now so i have to go to eraser let me see eraser cannot work but let's try mask so mask screw will be able to work so i will use a mask to cut out the bottom which you can see right so after cutting it, so let me cut it well. Okay. Cut it. Guess this is perfect. Okay, it's not yet perfect. Let me adjust it a little bit. Okay, perfect. So now the next thing we need to do where the work is. So we need to go and reselect this to be half circle. So let's select this half circle. So what we really needed is the mouth. So we need that mouth. So that mouth will perform a kind of a work here. So bring it to the front. Then we're going to use the mouth here. Okay. But the mouth should be rhyme with each other. So let's use our opacity. So which it I think it really work, but I'm going to add like one. One. Okay. So let's see that way. So let me bring it down a bit. So I it seems it work. So after that, you go to the mask as well. So when you go to the mask, we are going to cut it so only the mount we needed you know i said that already so cut it like this click out so when you click out you go back to the color change the color to white so that it can rhyme then you go to opacity increase it now you can see the mount really work so the next thing we need to do is to copy so when you copy then you go to 3d change it sorry we change that 
to be able to work for the second one okay so we choose it perfectly uh, okay let it calm down a bit okay then the one we selected first let's adjust that a bit as well okay cool so after we are able to do that then the next thing we need to do is to have this particular shape crop it down here okay good and then we are going to position that here after that we are going to select so when we select that that one will not uh, let it up to the previous one so we can have this okay perfect okay good good so you can see the two so the next thing we need to do is to marry the two together just let's match it then we reduce the size make it closer a little bit okay perfect so now remember the brand name is a roll neck so we will have the letter how to be copy as well copy letter how type n so we have the n that will be positioned here use your grid so that it will not move beyond the line so after that you are going to ship this one up so let it leave here okay perfect now what we are going to do next is this we are going to copy this particular letter sorry after copy rotate like this then we are going to position that here sorry change the color change the color to green so that is not what we needed anyway so after you change the color to green so we are going to use our mask here too so use your mask so use the mask then out so let's see so position that here change the color to white okay perfect so now the next thing we need to do is to have a letter e so we're going to copy this as well then we have our letter e so having the letter e we are going to cut out the two so we cut it from here so we use our mask as well so when we use mask at this junction okay mask so we can have the line in straight line okay then out so let's bring it down perfect so it's not perfect yet please it's not perfect yet let's just shift it a bit so it should be perfect like this so now we are going to position that using this move it let it be centralized then we'll move it a little bit so that one can tell and uh it shows that uh, that is letter n okay now it will remain a little remain a little right so what we are going to do next is we can shift this a little bit okay shift it a bit to rhyme with it so and i guess it's a rhyme like this so that is a runic rune so now we have our letter k runic okay letter k so now everything is complete so what we're going to do next is to match everything together so after matching it then we'll move it to the back a little bit 
now we are done with everything what do we need to do now we need to merge so we are merging everything together okay after merging then the next thing we need to do is to go to texture so that uh, silver which we just downloaded so what we need to do now is that we need to make sure we use it like a pro so select the open one and use it directly okay and if possible you might not stretch it just let it be like this then after that reposition very well then go to transparent background and you save it without background now we are done with the first step under 10 minutes so after that we are going to um let's go to our chrome browser so this is the previous work i've done so i can quickly go to the second one sorry okay so i will access my gallery now then looking for i'm looking for the mock-up perfect mock-up that we are going to use so let's check the mock-up we can use let's see whether we can have one here so i guess we can use this so let's try this mock-up I think this should be okay. So let's try this. Let's cancel this. So it should be able to work like this. So we scroll down to make use of this. Now it's loading. Remember, I will put the link to this mockup at the description. After you download it, make sure you extract it using your Z archiver. Okay? Then you import it like this. Please logo here. Double tap and hide it. Then you go to go to the file open and place then locate where the logo is so the logo we just save now is this so we increase the size a little bit increase it a little bit okay perfect now save with smart object after open the file so tap on the mockup it will show now you can see the work amazing right so you can see this is how to make a monogram logo on your android smartphone using your pc lab thanks for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you